Hi everyone, I'm Chef Kate and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making corned beef and cabbage and some potatoes. So we're gonna go step by step through how we're gonna make our corned beef. It takes about three and a half hours to make the whole thing. So plan ahead, there's not a lot of heavy work in it. It just takes a while to cook. So first I have my slab, my, I did a flank of corned beef, got it in the jewel. Um, if you have a packet of seasoning in there that they come with, I throw it out. So what I like to use are, um, I put in a bay leaf, 10 peppercorns. I, I took the skin off of a whole head of garlic, but I left the cloves all one piece. So they went into the pot with my uh, corned beef. I filled it up with water and I cooked it covered on the stove top, turning it, um, the meat, every half hour or so. So um, it cooks a total of three hours on the stove top. So this is what we get. My beautiful pot here. So you can see the flavorings came out of my corned beef. It's floating around in there. I preheated my oven to 300 degrees. I'm gonna pull this corned beef out, put it into my pan, and it's gonna bake in the oven uncovered for a half hour. Mm -hmm. So you know the corned beef is almost done when I can pierce it with my uh, fork. So it's beautiful right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook my potatoes and cabbage in this beautiful water that has all my flavorings already in it. My Oh, I have an onion in there too, I forgot. I sliced it in half. So it, all that good flavor is in that water. So I'm gonna use that, bring it to a, a higher temperature. It's gonna come to a boil. I'm gonna put in my cabbage and my potatoes, my peeled potatoes, put them right in the water to cook. All right, so while my corned beef was cooking, I peeled my potatoes. They're just a russet baking potato. Um, you could use a red potato. If you're using small little um, fingerling potatoes, I don't bother peeling them. They're nice and tender, so they'll cook just beautifully whole. I peeled ours and cut them in half. I stored them in my bowl with water covering them so they wouldn't turn uh, like a black color. They're not gonna get any oxidation while I'm waiting for my water to come to a boil. So I did these maybe a half hour ago. So they'll keep well as long as they're covered with water. I'll drain this water out and put my potatoes into my boiling cabbage water. Okay then. So our corned beef is ready to come out of the oven. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna let it cool and rest for about 10 minutes so we can slice into it or else all the juices will come out and it will be dry and it won't cut so well. If you wanna make sandwiches for tomorrow, put it into the fridge once it's cooled off so much easier to slice nice and thin when it's cold. All right, so now we have our corned beef. It's cooled a little bit. We're just gonna cut it. We're gonna cut it against the grain and we're just gonna slice it. Let's see if I need to use a fork. It's nice and tender. We can take this little bit of fat from the top off if you want. Look at how pretty that is. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're gonna slice it up, serve it with our cabbage and potatoes, and have a wonderful um, St. Patrick's Day meal.